Welcome to Existential Crisis episode number 168. Positive shit. Hey, it's just a quick thought. Something I notice very often, and I bet you notice this too. You never want to do anything, do you? People always ask you, hey, do you want to do this? Or you come up with a master plan, a beautiful idea. It's great. You have the whole thing mapped out in your 5D vivid imagination. And what do they say? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyone that is in a relationship knows this when you're trying to figure out what you want to eat for dinner. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. All right. Here's the, here's the thought. It's because we're thinking about the future. Well, first off, we can't see the future, read the future, go to the future, and tell Elon and his time machine tech, patent pending, come out. We can't do that. So if you just just step back and think about what's happening, someone asks you if you want to do this, and immediately you go to thought. Well, first of all, do you know what the place is? Yeah, I know what is what it is. Have you been there? Oh, no, I've not been there. Do you know anyone that's been there? Have you heard any, about any reviews? What do they have there? What's what kind of what uh how what would you get there if you got there? What'd you get last time? There's all of these questions that you're you're composing in your mind, in your imagination, your thoughts. And you have to do nothing to do this, right? Well, I mean, technically, there's, there's some effort there, but it's all happening instantaneously in your awesome imagination. You're weighing all these options. You're judging whether it's good. Is it bad? Judging may be a harsh word, but you're, you're discerning, deciphering, comparing, contrasting. All of these, these mind patterns that we've learned since we were kids, there's a lot of thought that's going into that. Now here, let me put you on something. The great sages and mystics and Buddhas and all of the above, they point to the fact that the answer does not lie in thought. It doesn't lie in the mind. Our overactive minds are the cause of our suffering. Our overactive minds and ruminating on the problems of the future, what might happen Monday at work and it's Sunday. You should be relaxing You work way too much. This is your day to just do whatever you want. Stare at a wall because you've been busting your ass 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours or not. You're sitting at home and you're in, you're paralyzed because you're not sure which direction to go. You've done them all. And every time you come up short, you come up unhappy and you, and you're trying to think about the next thing. You're trying to think about what you're going to do, right? And notice, it's more thought, it's more thinking, it's more thinking about what you're going to do. Interesting. So it's just, just notice that the next time. Now here's a thought, another thought, right? More thoughts. But um, imagine a time that you went somewhere um, that wasn't of your, uh, your, you were going to a buddy's birthday party and they were saying, hey, we're going to Benihana's, Right. Benihana, what the shit is that? Benihana. Is that a motorcycle dealership? No. You go there and you don't know yet. You don't know anything about this place. But if you had been there, someone someone right now is screaming at the phone, what a piece of shit place. You know how expensive it is? And they didn't even throw shrimp at me. I know, right? But here's the thing. If you're the one that hasn't gone and you're going because it's a buddy's birthday, there's some reason you would never have gone there. You never would have gone there. But something pulled you there. And so, shit, all right, I guess we're we're in discover mode. We're in learn learn mode. What else is on this great planet? A Benihana? Look at this. They're throwing food around? They told me we couldn't throw food around when I was a kid. And you're telling me I can go pay high dollar? To get hit with some shrimp, they're going to make a heart out of some rice, boop, 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 and make it beat? What kind of magic, black magic fuckery, what do they call it? Didn't need to throw that in there. But you went and you had a new experience. 
You just had this new experience and now you're exhausted. You've been working your ass off and thinking your ass off. And now, even when a new experience comes up, do you want to do it? No, I don't want to do shit. I've been doing shit all day, every day. And right now, my buddy over here, I want to hang out with him. You see that? You see that paint drying on this wall? We're going to become pals for the next eight hours because I'm going to figure out this meditation shit. Brute force. I'm just going to do it and do it until it gets done because that's what I do. Just crush shit. <laughs> that's the <laughs> Realize, people, that's the opposite of it. Meditation, that's your opportunity to just sit there. And yes, in the beginning, you're going to be bombarded with your thoughts. And it feels awful. And I'll tell you what, I've been doing it for a couple years and it still feels mostly awful. But there are these... There's this growth that happens. At least in how you process all of this input that keeps coming in. All of life's situation. The, the life fire hose coming at you. And meditation is one of the tools that can help you get to a place where you're not so bombarded. And at the very least, you got a little bit of space to look at all this stuff and prioritize a little more clearly because you're just putting out fires. You're putting out fires and, and it's, it exhausts, it's exhausting. And course you don't feel great about the decisions because you're just in you're going with your gut all the time meditation people broken record here you want to you want an app i'll put you on something check this out go check out sam harris talked about it on every time i can but uh i'll link it down below too he'll give you a free month if you sign up and if you're if you're hurting for cash this is what i love about the waking up organization or whatever they're doing over there at Sam Harris is not only is the app badass and constantly getting updated, constantly changing, but if you are unable to afford it, they will throw you a year subscription free of charge. And I realize this, this little crisis I'm going through is lasting a little longer than a year. So Sam, <laughs> expect an email from me, buddy. And if you're a long time listener, then uh, if you want to just go ahead and get in the on the old back end there and click the buttons, give me some free prescript. And uh, everyone else on this podcast, 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 go hit Sam up and his buddies over there. Carl's the guy that always responds to me. If I have an IT problem, like the app, oh my God, let me tell you, let me tell you about this. I've done this. I do this way too often. It's it's embarrassing. But I just wanted to meditate one day. All right, I had one of those days, and I'm at the I'm at the bottom of a six pack. Nothing is going my way except for the fact that I had that six pack there, in the fridge, at a 32 degrees, or 33, whatever it is, right before freezing. And I just wanted to meditate, right? So they they went ahead and updated the whole login shit. This is the one gripe that I have with the waking up app. Is it seems like it's gotten better, but it seems like sometimes, and this isn't just them, this is on iOS in general, on, on Apple shit. You update some shit and all of a sudden you gotta log in again. And that's a fucking motherfucker because they don't let you log in the way you'd like to. Like, you know, you're on your phone. So you gotta go in another app and copy and paste and all oh, this is just, oh my god, pain in the ass. So I'm trying to log into this thing and won't let me log in, won't let me log in. Then I start getting errors, just all kinds of shit. And I was fucking pissed. So I sent an email to Carl and whoever would listen. Hey, dude, this is fucking, I'm trying to meditate here. I think by the time I got to, to that level, it was a heated email, at least to the automated web, web form on their website. And then someone got back in touch and I got it worked out. But they had it easy compared to that time Audible would not let me join my phone, right? I paid a shitload of money for all these Audible books most of which my credits are just expiring, just vaporizing. Oh, that's 15 bucks. Poof. Oh, that's how you're able to give away books so cheap, right? Poof. Gone. Audible. Gone. 
And uh, they, at the time, in order to put shit on your phone, you had to authorize it and you had to do it through iTunes. It was just, it was fine, right? It, no problem until you had six devices. They only let you get five on there at a time. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's just fucking would not activate, would not activate. And I call up Audible, you fuck. I mean, I used every variation of fuck. I could probably find the email. If, when this video gets 100 billion views, I'm going to find that email. I'll put it out there. I'll put it out there. My, it's going to be heavily redacted because, you know, we deal in TS shit around here all the time. So wait until you see it. 100 billion views. Almost like my song that got 100 milli. No, 100 milli? It's going to get 100 milli. Not quite there yet. I think we got 17. But shit. Hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. 100 billy views didn't get there. But I can tell you this. I made a milli on Jess's track. Boop. I put you on it.